So I've written a script that using screen recognition will try to extract the names and prices from the commodities list and export those to Slopies. It's not entirely accurate. Um, it's pretty close, but it still messes up on a few names and numbers. So there's still a manual verification process you have to do. <clears throat> so with the commodities list open, let me tab out to my script and run. What you'll see it do now is start scrolling through the list automatically. It does this because the yellow background is a lot easier to read and it needs to scroll down through the, the scroll window. I don't have it doing the full list for this example, just the first 20 that it finds. So now that's done, you can see here it always has a tough time with the station names, but with the autofill in Slopies, um, I just have it entering in the first four digits of the station name, and that will get it right if it's in the list already. If it's not, you're going to have to populate it yourself. So always double check the station name before you submit something. And then you can see here on the left it's got the screenshots it's grabbed and on the right it's got the, the prices that it extracted. So you can scroll through here, make sure they're all okay. If it does find something wrong, it um, will give you this warning message here. Now this warning message doesn't always show. This only grabs the really obvious differences where I compare the sell price to things like the galactic average and the buy price and a few other um, error checking. So it will miss some, but the real bad ones it will flag with this um, warning symbol. So change that, everything else looks good. I'll hit submit prices and then this is all automated. It takes control of my mouse, we'll click on the add an update button and then it starts typing for me. Now it's not going to automatically click the save data button because I want to do one more quick verification in this list before I submit. It's pretty rare but I have had it mistype things in here but uh, almost always it's going to type it exactly as you saw in the verification window. Only if I miss something in the verification window would I be worried and maybe a second error check here was warranted. That's it. Now I can save data and I'm good to go.